All right, we're continuing our Java 2D graphics videos, and we're going to continue exploring the transformations. So I've modified the previous program now to use the scaling transform, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. We get kind of a cool figure from it, too. So I'm still using the uh, template that I got from uh, Zcode. And uh, if you look here, I've got uh, this inner for loop which is creating the uh, cubic curve like we did in the last video and uh, then I'm drawing that and then I'm rotating and that is going 16 times so that's creating that S-shaped figure 16 times I've wrapped another loop around it which is also going to go 16 times and uh, I'm applying a scale here and so you can see that I'm doing the scale in the same X and Y, so it's going to be um, even. You can skew things if you change just the X or just the Y, or if you change them in a different uh, uh, percentage. So this is going to maintain that the scale will still be the same. And notice the scale will get smaller each time. So if we run this, we get this figure here. And if you look carefully, you can see here's the large figure, and then it gets rotated around each time in the inner loop, and then it gets scaled, and then it gets rotated again. And then, of course, I've got the random color set up like I did on the previous video. So that's the way that the uh, scale works. Again, this is the scale factor to apply to the X, and this is the scale factor to apply to the Y. And in this case, I'm scaling them both uh, the same amount. So uh, that's pretty simple. And uh, so now you can see that you can combine these transforms here. So uh, I'm doing a translation initially to center the screen. I have a 10 by 24 by 1024 uh, drawing surface. And then I've moved the center point, the 0, 0 point of the axis, uh, to the midpoint of the screen. And when you do the rotation, it uses the center point as the reference. So it's rotating around that origin. So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, we just have one or two more transforms to do.